A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people and I am here very very late with your first update but I am here nonetheless my people I am here the day cannot uh, complete without us having a talk without us chatting some cricket and I have a couple of stories for us to look at in this one so we see where Azari Joseph he was answering questions as it relates to whether or not he has given any thoughts to becoming the next West Indies captain. Remember, he's vice captain in all three formats. So, you know, he was speaking about the trajectory that he is on and whether or not he's looking forward to taking over, whether it is T20 ODIs or Test Cricket. So we're going to zoom in on that. Plus, we're going to take a look at some of the numbers. You know, we see where the CWI, they sent out some information as it relates to a couple of our top performers coming out of the T20 World Cup. So, going to share that. And we're going to finish off with some extra, extra good news. The West Indies women, they were able to secure victory in a series. So, um, I'm going to give you a recap of the final game. And, you know, just talk about that a little bit. So, give a listening ear. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So, let us start off with Alzari Joseph. Now, this article, I am taking it from Observer, um, from out of his neck of the woods, right? So it says, fast bowler Azari Joseph said his focus remains on doing the things that will aid in the, in his, um, in the continued development of his game for the overall betterment of West Indies cricket. So he's not focused right now on leading. He's not focused on taking over like that. He's more into trying to continue his development which will benefit the team um, overall right so this is Alzari here and I quote no at the moment I think we have two very settled captains for the format so I haven't been thinking about that I have been thinking about how I could improve my game and what I can add to the team Right, um, Alzar went on to say, I have been vice captain for the ODIs and the te and test matches and no T20s, so it's just continuing where I left off because my job is pretty simple. He went on to say, which is just to facilitate the captain in any way that I can. I have only done it um, at the under 19s and school level, being captain of the Leewards gave me that experience at a higher level but the game doesn't change just the opposition right end quote so he's saying that the experience is not really there but um you know having done it at lower level all he needs to do is just to uh look at the different opponents that they are going up against and make sure that the strategies are whatever you know they are coming up with is suitable for whoever they are playing at that given time so um, Alzari there, my people. I don't know why, why, why this question, you know, was asked. Right, um, it was asked. Um, I don't know why we are focused on that right now. If um, there are talks going around about uh, probably Brathwaite, um, even Ravman Powell or uh, Shea. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, my viewers and subscribers. But Alzari is saying that the trajectory that he's look staying on right now is to just continue uh, working on his game, just to make sure that he's developed um, in the right areas and he's able to, uh, you know, help the team uh, in, in, in whatever way. So that is Alzari there, my people. All right, let's just go into this bit of information that was posted by the West Indies um, people in the, in the jacket and tie. Uh, so they say, most wickets taken at the T20 World Cup. And this is just me highlighting this little information. This is nothing to write home about. You know, this is just, um, you know, just a little talk. Uh, it would have been nice if we were still in the competition. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, when we highlight these things, people tend to look at it and say, oh, this man is from my country and he did this. This man is from my place and he did this. You know, we are, we are not really looking into that. Um, so for, we're most wicked, uh, for most wickets, we have Azari Joseph. Um, finishing off with 13, Andrea Russell with 11, and Akil Hussein with 9. Right? So a, a couple of seamers are, uh, you know, tapping there. 
Now, where the batting is concerned, we see Nicholas Poor, and he was by far our, our, our top run scorer there. You know, he got 228 runs. Johnson Charles, he got um, 140. And uh, Sheffield Rutherford, he got 121. So those were the guys there that um, led us in terms of uh, with the bat and ball. All right, final thing before we go now, my viewers and subscribers. The West Indies women, they were victorious in their third T20 international against Sri Lanka. And they actually won that series there um, based on what I'm seeing here. So, you know, shout out to the West Indies women. Uh, let me just go through the scorecard real quick. So in that game, Sri Lanka, they, well, West Indies won the game by six wickets. Sri Lanka, they made 141 for seven. We ended on 142 for four. So doing pretty well there. Now, um, where the bowling is concerned for us, we had a couple of ladies taking wickets. Um, you know, we saw Elaine getting two for 25 from her four overs. Uh, we also saw Fletcher getting two for 25 from four overs. And Henry, she picked up one for 16 from three overs. Ramarak was also good with the ball, getting one from uh, one for 20 from her two overs. So that is basically how the bowling went for us. Um, batting for Sri Lanka, um, Chimari, she made 38 from 38. Um, she was supported by um, Dilihari, who made 26 from 22. Now, when it was time for us to give chase, um, you know, we lost uh, we lost our first batter quite early. Well, as a matter of fact, we, we had a good opening opening stand, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. We had a good opening stand with Stephanie Taylor and Haley Matthews, um, both opening. Uh, good to see, you know, both ladies there back in the team and producing a, a win. As a matter of fact, the bulk of the runs, you know, we got the bulk of the runs from the top three batters. Now, Stephanie Taylor, she made 33 from 30. Um, she had four fours and one six in her uh, knock. Haley Matthews, she was the top scorer with 49 from 40. She had five fours. So Haley Matthews returning to the team and, you know, uh, picking up the most runs there. Uh, 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 Shermaine Campbell, she was also amongst the runs. She was left not out on 41. So doing the business there for us. Um, we lost four wickets winning that game. So... Um, congratulations to the West Indies women and secure and securing that series. So that is pretty much it for this one. You know, my viewers and subscribers just wanted us to take a look at those couple of things and we will touch base again later on. Bless up.